we're back once again. And we're to talk about... The hell does that say? It's Gamera 2. Attack of Legion. Uh, I've reversed it to the Japanese cover because it looks so much cooler. Like, no offense, the the, the, the artist in the new new box art looks it looks cool and everything, but you know, let's be honest, that art looks fucking dope. I need, I need that as a poster. Let's be honest, I need that as a fucking poster. This looks so cool. Um, so yeah, we'll work we'll through this. Hey, see here a set which I have right here. Though the last one's technically not Hey here, but we we just ignore that because it's only four films, and oh well, the film is just going to be all by itself. Kind of sad and lonely. It's all lonely. But yeah, we're watching yeah, Gamma Two, uh, the second in the trilogy. Uh, I have not seen the last one yet, though I will probably. I've probably already seen it. If well, I've probably already seen it once this video comes out. So, yeah, Gamera Two. Um, oh, what was this? Literal translation is Gamera Two: Invasion of Legion. Kind of sounds cooler. Not gonna lie, that's that does sound like a better title. Invasion of Legion sounds so much cooler. Um. Yeah, this film is. I think this film is definitely better than the first film. I kind of like Legion more as a threat, mostly because there's a really cool scene where you see like Gamera just fucking covered in insect things, and it looks it looks really creepy as fuck, and also really cool at the same time. Uh, so I did. I did have. I don't. Is it sport? I kind of had this film sport not. Not really, not the actual ending or anything, but like, I've seen Legion before in, um, in Kayo, is it Kayo Toshi? I can't remember the title. Uh, City Shrouded in, <coughs> fuck, oh, don't punch the microphone, Brett. Uh, City Shroud, Shrouded in Shadow. Let's go with that title, because that's much easier for me to pronounce as an English person. Um... Because a lot of the kind of, you have kind of these little, kind, kind of insects, like giant, like human, uh, human sized insects that are kind of run around on these train stations. And they use that pretty much almost exactly in that game. It's like, they opened them up. I was like, why is this? This looks already familiar. Why does this look really? Oh, it's because I've already played it in a video game. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I see. Um, yeah, because that uses like, uh, all like Hazy era um, Gamera stuff. It doesn't use any Showa era Gamera stuff. He uses uh, guys from the uh, Hazy era and Legion, as well as the big ass plant ass fucking things um, for Legion. So you have, yeah, these giant black plants which are to spread more of these little insect fuck fuckers. Um, and yeah, you got the little insect fuckers, and then eventually you have the kind of giant. Legion. Do they give it a fish tie on here? Uh, it just says Legion. Calls it, calls it Legion. You have like, yeah, the plants and then the big monster. So you have kind of like three, three threats of this. You have the little insect fuckers who keep killing humans. You have the big ass plants, which can obviously create more of these fuckers. And then you got the actual giant monster. That's the one that fights. Um, Gamera yeah, looks really cool. He looks so cool. Um, yeah, the fights, fights this, and yeah, Gamera yeah, gets fucked up again. Like, I think that's. I think Godzilla does get fucked up sometimes, but like, Gamera yeah, really does get fucked up a lot more. Like, he, and there's a lot of, yeah, you know, almost. Because Godzilla, Godzilla most of the time just kind of gets bored. He just kind of goes, anyway, I'm off. Whereas, like, most of the Gamera ones, he's always, like, gets really fucked over and kind of has to, you know, hide for a bit. And then come back. And he's like, hey, guys, I'm back. I'm here to kill you all. Um, so, yeah, what, the, what I can't remember what the, the aliens. I think everything in this is, like, aliens. 
Yeah, 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 aliens, it's meteorite. So again, yeah, you've kind of got the human plot, which is them trying to figure out what the fuck these things are and how to stop them. Um, you have the you have the girl from the previous film who has the psychic connection with Gamera, but she's used a little bit less, and then the psychic connection bead thing chatters. So I guess that sets up that she's not going to be in the next one because she's no longer got a psychic connection to Gamera, which is a shame. It'd be nice to have that kind of uh, through line, but. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see how, how my thoughts change when after I've seen that one. Because, um, yeah, the only one I, I, I've still got only two more fil camera films to watch. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, yeah. So, honestly, I think I think this is the better film. I think these films get better. We'll see what the third one's like. See if that, you know, if it's an upward trajectory or if it goes pff, pff, again. Um, I just like, I like this threat because it's like, yeah, a tiny ass. Oh, cause, oh, Mother Legion. Okay, sorry. I was, I was I, over the Wikipedia article. And I was like, oh, oh, that's the big ass fucker. I was like, oh, no, that's, that's a good, that's a good name. That's a good name. Um, yeah, there's a lot of the, there's a lot of horror of these little you know ant insect legions running around they kind of they're really like i think they yeah you eating glass like glass um so that's kind of kind of their whole whole stick at the start um but yeah it definitely has kind of definitely horror elements to it which is good i like that i like that a lot and it means you've yeah i've got like a threat to the humans, and then a threat to Gamera. Like, admittedly, yeah, obviously big kaijus are always a you know, a threat to humans anyway, but it's hard to have a giant-ass kaiju on screen and then in any way find, like, you know, suspense with tiny-ass humans. Because tiny-ass humans go squeeze. They go squeeze. And they're gone. Um, so, yeah, it's that, that good threat. I... Yeah, I definitely think this one's. This one's. I think I like more. I'm really interested to see if the third one does turn out well. I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I hope. Um, because honestly, yeah. Again, I say this. I I really do like this era. Like this era of camera. It looks good. It is comparable to Godzilla. It, we've moved past the hey, uh, the Showa era, which was just like aliens did it, <laughs> which was just like Gamera and Godzilla stuff of just like aliens, mate. Fucking aliens. There's always aliens. Like uh, it seemed like almost every other movie was just like, why aliens? Hey, aliens. Aliens did it. And then we're like, oh no, we moved past that now. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, the, yeah, the Mother Legion does look really cool as a villain. Uh, and then, yeah, when Godzilla finally fucking goes at camera. <laughs> camera finally kicks his ass. It looks so cool. But yeah, seeing seeing camera cover, I think that is one of my best, like, favorite effects. Like, I think that beats a lot of the stuff, even in Godzilla. Just like seeing that all those. Insect fuckers crawling around. Like, mm. like, I like it. And I also hate it. Yeah, looking at it, I'm like, oh, that looks disgusting. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this film. It's so cool. It is such a good film. Uh, I'm trying to think of the human plot. The human plot was... I think it's mostly just like coming coming into contact with and just kind of figuring out the mystery. Like camera takes a while to show up in this film. Which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Like I think they show uh a few little clips of the first film trying to connect it. But otherwise it takes a while to get camera and I'm I'm fine with that. Um yeah, it takes a while. But it's it's good setup. Honestly, it's good setup. I think I think this one 
is so far the best one. We'll see if three improves it, because I know the next last one is not going to, from all I've heard. And again, not seen it, so I can't comment, but... Yeah, I kind of know. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see. Um, yeah, I think that kind of wraps up my thoughts. Uh, this one is is great. It's so far the best camera film. Now three might up, you know, upset it. We'll have to find out. I'll let you guys know when I do the review for Gamera 3, uh, which oh, what's that one? Next one. Gamera 3. Revenge of Iris. Now it's a bit weird. There's like a three year gap between this one, which is a bit strange. Because what do you have? You had the first one. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like one year gap between one and two and then there's a three year gap between two and three which is a bit strange um ah yeah whatever well i'm not gonna read too i don't want to read too much of that i might end up spoiling something um so yeah we'll watch that and then which i think what we're gonna watch next I think it might we might have to be might have to have to be American Godzilla. Oh, American Godzilla. Because I do want to do the animated series. So that might be what we do next. So hmm, find out then. For now I say, live long and prosper. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.